Hello, so I wanted to clarify one other thing that I did not clarify in my last clarification video when it comes to the perimeter of a triangle on a grid. And that's going to be a triangle like this that's kind of floating around on the grid where none of the sides are either straight up and down vertical or either straight left and right horizontal. And so this is what I would recommend. I would recommend that you use Pythagorean's theorem, but since you don't know the length of A and B already, you basically just make your own triangles and figure it out. So for instance, if we wanted to find the length of our hypotenuse here, we would just make our own triangle uh, with this side of the hypotenuse. So I would just go from F to point over here, and then from G, I would go down to that point down there. Excuse the lack of neat lines. Anyway, so if you do that neatly, you'll see that this is now a right triangle, and the A length is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, and the length of B is going to be negative 5 to positive 7 is going to be a positive 12. Okay, And with that, you can use Pythagorean's theorem to find your hypotenuse here. And you do the exact same thing for the other sides as well. For, uh, for the side G to H, we'll just draw another little triangle like this. Right? A little right angle there. Um, the height of H is going to be 2. And then the length of G, the side with G over here, is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then just do the Pythagorean theorem, right? 2 squared plus 7 squared equals C squared. And then you do the same exact thing down here to find the other length. So another triangle, and then another triangle. Right angles down here. Length of the, uh, the side down here is 1, 2, and 3. And then the height of your triangle is going to be at negative 5 to positive 5, so that's going to be 10. So then you would do 3 squared plus 10 squared equals c squared, and then find the, uh, the length of that hypotenuse there. Okay, So you could do the triangles, use the triangles this way to find your missing lengths, or you can use, um, not Pythagorean's theorem, that is Pythagorean's theorem. You can use distance formula, right? So you can look at my last video about clarifying the perimeter of triangles here on a grid to uh, get more step-by-step -step on how to do that. But just keep in mind, it's the same deal. I just wanted to clarify sort of another step you might want to take in order to find the perimeter of triangles on a grid. Okay, that is all.